general's expecting you, sir. This way, sir. Boy, B, you a soldier boy? I mean, you in the army? Sir. What's this? Well, my uniform, sir. Your uniform? Yes, sir. You see, uh, I'm detailed to General Alderman, sir. Boy, B. I'm glad you could come, Carter. I never say no to a general. Kings and counts used to dine on this terrace. You should feel right at home. Captain, I have a job for you. I appreciate the hospitality, General, but uh, I'll walk to Berlin before I mix drinks for you. Captain, we have people to do that in the Army. Now, I want you for something else. I want you to say the damn. There's a dam on the Aufgang Lake, right here. Our main force is more than 50 miles away, here. If the Jerry's know we're coming, they'll blow it up. And if they do, they'll stall our advance for at least two days and flood the valley. What we want to do is surprise them from the south. Now, the nearest unit is B Company, 3rd Regiment. So send them in. Carter, I'm afraid you missed the point. We've got two days to save the dam. This mission requires the experience of a commando. And you were available. You'll be flown to B Company and dropped. Oh, the uh, code name is London Bridge. From there on, you're on your own. You'll be behind German lines the minute you step out of camp. 28 miles down this road is a farmhouse with a friendly contact and a radio. You'll spend the night there. 12 more miles down the road is an abandoned winery that will be your base of operation for the actual assault. I'll uh, see that you get a promotion. Wouldn't it be nice to wake up in a few days, a major? German, you'd be dead by now. Well, can you talk, boy? Jonathan Crunk, Private, B Company, U.S. Army. B Company. First platoon. London Bridge. London Bridge. Hickory Creek, Georgia. Don't you know the password? Where are the flares? What flares? You were supposed to light a flare at 0100 hours and bring me in. What time is it now? Can't you tell the time, soldier? I can tell ordinary time. I'm not very good at army time yet. Oh, you're in trouble, Private. i never seen no one stand guard like that. It's a big trouble. Now, where's the outfit? Uh, down the road a piece. Take me to it. And move, boy! Your helmet.
<laughs> Mate! <laughs> I'm a first-class fool. You know, I should have seen that. Well, you're learning fast, Lieutenant. You'll be beating me regularly in no time. <sighs> Let's call it a day, huh, George? Hey, I hear the boys have some action in the mess tent. I've never been lucky at gambling. Not that I have anything worth losing. But there's nothing worth winning around here either. I'll tell you what. You teach me how to play chess, and I'll tell you how to cheat at craps. You can win yourself a few bucks. Thank you. But I'm going to have to beg off this time. An old man needs to sleep more than a craps lesson. <laughs> now, you play a good game for an officer. See you in the morning. George, it says here that you can change places between the king and the rook. Now, you never told me that. Maybe it's because I'm not George. You sure ain't. What can I do for you? You can salute, boy. And who would I be saluting if I saluted? Captain Carter. And I'll break your arm if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> and if I do? What do you mean, if? Are you drunk, man? A little, I suppose. Wine does that. Oh, wait. It's over here somewhere. Just a second, Captain. Yeah. Oh, here we are. <laughs> Lieutenant. Who's this? Mine, just a little dirty, that's all. I used it to cook some stew in yesterday. Where's your CO? Wallace, Edward B. Would you like a drink, Captain? Genuine French wine. Vin Francais. What's the matter with you, Wallace? I mean, men court martial for your kind of lip. I guess I'm in shock. We don't see too many white folks around here. You don't see many what? How many of you uh, people are there here? People? You mean how many black men in this company? Let me get some of this. You're going to pay with your own. Here they are, Captain. B Company, proudly serving their country. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Man, you ain't no good. You didn't have shit to do just cause he's deaf. He's getting the bear, ain't he? All he's good for is sweeping up the place. Oh. <laughs> good thing we in combat cause he's never hit a shot. <laughs> I don't know how he got in the army anyway. Cause he couldn't hear the man when the man told him he was 4F. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Crump. Yes, sir. Aren't you supposed to be on guard duty, man? Huh? Yes, sir, but I'm about to man in here. Yeah, well, get on back out there. I'll send somebody to relieve you in a couple of hours. Is that you? Wallace, General Alden sent me here. You mean you need 20 men to wipe spit from the general's chin? Give me your radio. No chance. Watch your mouth, Sonny. The radio's been broken for three weeks, and we don't have the parts to fix it. Well, there's one where we're going, so forget it. What would I need a radio for anyway? They'll tell us when to move. I'm telling you now. We've been in this stinking war for three years. We get our orders from General Smythe. We're the first to arrive and the last to leave, and we don't have our orders yet. You do now, mister. You gotta be kidding. What time do you want to move out? Oh, 0700. Oh, 0700. Good night, Captain. It's your pleasure, Captain. My pleasure is right now. Sit down, Wallace. No thanks. This isn't a company. It's a circus. They ain't one man out there with a uniform. Only half of them is guns. The other half is a goatee. They won't even stand up straight. 
How oh, in mother's memory am I supposed to get those men 40 miles into enemy territory? They can do it. How do you figure? They aren't even soldiers. They are soldiers, Captain. Bonafide members of the armed forces of the United States. A soldier fights. A soldier does what he is ordered to do. Every one of those men volunteered to fight, to die for his country. They've been here three years, Captain. Three years waiting to face a gun. You know where the orders have been? Huh? This is a service company, Connor. Sanitation detail, mess detail, burial detail. Did you ever wonder what happened to those trenches once you leave, huh? Those stinking trenches that you can't stand to go near because they make you vomit? B Company fills them up with lye and mud and then goes someplace else to dig another. Don't tell me they're not soldiers because they don't fight. Take a look. Come on, take a look. Tell me again, they're soldiers. They are. <laughs> Oh, they're black men doing what they know how to do. The army just gave them a job doing it. Well then, Mr. Carter, you and that dam are in pretty big trouble. I need seven men. You and six volunteers. You want me to choose six of my men so as you can get them killed? I want six volunteers. You want to ask him, or shall I? I'll ask him. But just for the record, I hope the first bullet hits you right between your big blue eyes. Soldiers in the rear can fall out. The rest of you, we've got a job to do. Hey, Clark. Where are we going, man? Uh, boss said something about a dam. Who's the white fella? Says he's the captain. But him and the boss was giving it to each other a few minutes ago. What kind of damn? Oh, man, why don't you two shut up? Ain't gonna be no damn. There's gonna be some more latrines. Hmm? I've seen Italian latrines, French latrines, and Belgian latrines. German latrines ain't gonna be no different. Right, Crook? Yeah, but we don't need no white man to tell us that. Well, we don't need no white man at all. Hey, uh, Brightman, give me a cigarette. What? A cigarette, man. Okay. Sure, sure. Are you still writing in that diary thing? Uh-huh. Only it's, it's not a diary. It's more like a journal. About us. Let me see. No. You said it was about us. It is. I want to see what you're saying about me, man. Let him be, Lewis. Shut up, fat man. Hey, man, I know what it says without even looking. Uh, it says, Private Lewis, uh, A1 soldier in the U.S. Army. Thing will handle he wears 35 dirty T-shirts without once holding his nose. Hey, you ain't gonna have no nose to hold. Hold it! All right, that's enough. Get your gear together. We move out in five minutes. Hey, 
Hey, Doc. Uh, you want to keep this for me? It'll be safer with you. Uh, sure, I'll keep it. Uh, when I want to write some more, I'll get it from you. Okay. Uh, the boss says uh, we move out in about five minutes. Think we'll get to see some action this time? Well, it had to happen sooner or later. July 23rd, 1944. We encountered heavy action today. Lost three men to enemy artillery. The company fought magnificently, killing 23 of the enemy before taking the machine gun nest. Lieutenant Wallace cited three men, myself included, who were bravery under fire. I am continually awed by the heroism of this company under the severest of battle conditions. I will receive the Medal of Honor at a ceremony when we reach Berlin. amusing you, mister? Three years ago, I would have laughed anyone in the face who said I'd be in the Army today. And why'd you join? Oh, a number of things. Duty, patriotism, stupidity. I thought I could be useful. You find your work too hard, boy? Oh, no, sir. I love every minute of it. What do you do? What do I do, sir? What's your work? I am a cook, sir. A first-class cook. The Army needs cooks. Evidently. What's his name, Wallace? Whose name? This soldier I was talking to. Hayes. Private Hayes. Seems to be uh, smarter than the average foot soldier, don't you think? He's a teacher. Is that a fact? Mm hmm. What's he teach? Rhythmatech? No, physics. What? Physics. Where? Howard University. University? Don't that beat off. Thing. 
I've used it before. In combat? Yeah. I was in combat before I joined the army. On 34th Street Division. That's in Harlem, baby. If you'd have come near me then, I'd have used it on you. Throw it. Where? A tree. Stay on the high ground. Use the trees for cover. Or you stay on the road. Farmhouse isn't far ahead. I don't like it, Captain. We save an hour this way. Saved an hour, Captain. Come on, help me bury him. Stay in time. Would there be time if he was white? Dead if we burn him or not. Come on, let's go.
I'll take a look. Been all day here, I man. This place stinks. Would you rather spend it outside? You can wave to the German patrols when they come by. There are many of them in this area. This is Frau Renzi. Frau Renzi? B Company. Gentlemen? You? Mit seiner Gastfreiheit. B Company, danke sehr, Frau Renzi. Bitte schön. You speak that German stuff pretty good, Doc. German crunk is the language of physics. And cooking, Captain. The transmission will be at 1600, but if you need me, I'll be in the house. I hope you'll have a pleasant dress, gentlemen. Thank you. We better check on the radio. Come on. I'll show it to you. Uh, Captain? You still haven't told us where we're going. You go on. I'll be right there. B Company is to proceed to the Aufgang Dam five kilometers north of the town of Ulster and secure said dam until the arrival of Allied forces. Is anyone guarding this your dam? Yep. Are we going to have any help? No. Nope. We can't make radio contact for another hour. There's some rest. Uh, uh, Captain Carter, sir? How are we going to do it? I don't know, soldier. We'll have to pretend this is tail. I made it from some roots. I'd never know the difference. You don't want to rest like the others? The others don't know what I know. What do you know? That we'll all be dead tomorrow. Why do you say that? Because he's right. It is a company of clowns. Never even got through basic training. Never even fired at anything except ten cans. And they're supposed to capture a heavily guarded dam? Suicide. No, I don't think so. I watched my brother put on an uniform and march off to the war. Then he got to the bar and he turned around and he waved, but there was no smile. And I had no smile either. But I watched him go. Do you know why? Because I knew he was going to die. How? I mean, how did you know it? Because he was fighting for the wrong side. And so, I look at you now, and I can tell. You can tell me? You can smile when you wave goodbye. Earlier today, I watched a man die. He was on the right side. I don't know about him. I just know about you. No, you don't know about me, and you don't know about my men. 
I wish to God I could believe that righteousness could save our lives, but... Do you doubt your men, Lieutenant? Or yourself? I don't know. There was a time when I knew, but... You know, I think that you're a strong man. But did, did you let something make you doubt yourself? But, but if you believe it, then you will be dead tomorrow. Do you believe that? from her, Wallace. What do you think you're doing? Don't ever let me see you touch a white woman or so her. You are in my house, Captain. Even if there's a war on outside, you're a guest in here. You're incredible, Carter. The lives of seven men are on the line, and you spend your time protecting the virtue of white women who get too close to black men. I feel sorry for you, man. Duncan. You're not in Georgia anymore, Carter. I know. Do you? Or are things over here supposed to stay the way you like them? Everybody in his place. I didn't ask for this mission. Oh, that makes me feel better. You didn't ask. That changes everything. I didn't ask, but I expected soldiers. I don't want to kill these men. Well, you are. Little by little. A word here, or a shove there. And you make a man feel small. Well, you think on that. When one shot from a friend can save you. And that one shot doesn't come. you for this mission. You couldn't have picked a better outfit. Did you take the dam? We on our way, General. I'm coming in tomorrow with the 3rd Regiment. That dam better be there. Tomorrow? Roger. Carter, we need that dam. Carter, did you hear me? I said we're coming in. Carter, did you hear me? Only five of them and seven of us. If we open up on them now, they'll never know what hit them. No. If they don't report in, there'll be a search. We don't want the whole German army snooping around here. Let's just wait a few minutes and see what happens. Yeah. 
ducks in here. Come on, boss, let's split. No, not yet. Oh, leave him in there. Let him have him. I ain't dying for no help by the hunky officer. Where you going, soldier? Far away from here, baby. That's desertion. What side do you want, man? That crackers are ours. You make one step toward that door and I'll kill you. Boss, we can leave. Is that what you waited three years to do, huh? Run when the going gets rough? If you leave now, you deserve to dig holes for people like him. trees up ahead. That's what the woods are made of. Yeah, good hiding places. Don't get cold feet on yourself, sir. I know we ain't gonna make it. That little tree's looking at us. I can feel it. They're waiting. We'll find out soon enough. I don't want to die, Big Jim. Hey, man, ain't nothing to it. I don't want the pain. Just curl up inside of yourself. See what? See what? Up in the trees! Get him under cover around the band. Captain! They're all in there! Stop it! You'll get us all killed! Captain! Shoot him! Stand there! Shoot him! Shoot him! Get out of that hole, mister. Captain... Shut up. I'll give you the three. I don't want to die. One. Please, sir. Two. Three. Let me talk to him, sir. You got two minutes. Shoot, God, shoot. There ain't nobody there, buddy. What? Just us chickens. It don't make no difference. It's gonna shoot me and I can't move. Man, ain't nobody gonna hurt you. I'm scared, bitch. Yeah, I know. I'm scared, too. Not like me, Kim. I can't even walk. Sure you can. Just get up out of there. 
Keep. Anybody can be scared. It's what you do when you're scared makes you something or nothing. Always been a nothing. Maybe. Now you got a choice. <laughs> All right. I'll leave you. And I'll tell Carter to come back with his pistol. And he can tell all his white friends, man, I knew them niggas couldn't cut the mustard. They just curl up in a hole and let me shoot him in the head. In a hundred years from now, black man will be clean the latrine just like you and me. So long, buddy. since they made any wine here. Could have saved some for us. Take one of your boys and check inside there. Oops. You and Big Jim check the others, huh? volunteer you got a lot to choose from we want you any special reason 
You can use a knife. You may have to. We want you to scout the dam. Pick somebody else to go with you. Got it. What you think? He'll be just fine. I want you to get as close as you can to the dam. You'll have to skirt the lake to get to the other end. That's where the detonators will be. Make a drone of where the charges are placed and get back here at 1,200 hours. Hear the sounds of artillery fire less than a hundred yards away. We are waiting for orders to advance to the front. The pressure of constant fighting is beginning to tell on the faces of the men. And we hope for a day or two of rest after the coming fight. Father, we've been lucky. You boys don't know how lucky we've been. But it's just starting to warm up. We've got to have that dam by nightfall, and it's not going to be luck that gets us through. You understand? Mm -hmm. Open it. What you going to use for bullets? Inside, soldier, you want to save your hide? Yes, sir. I'm going outside to join Lieutenant Wallace, and when I get back, you better be in shape, you hear?
you've been had. What? You don't have a chance. When we come this far, I ain't going back without doing something. Here, take a look. What are they doing? They're setting the chart. I got a feeling we don't have as much time as we think. Well, we better get back. Well, what about the drawing? We can remember. Come on. in five more minutes. And if they don't come back? We've got that nose in the swamp. I was thinking about us, Captain. We go in without them. Unless you or somebody else is a better idea. Lieutenant, hey! Look, you, you don't have much time. They're setting the charge. Where's Lewis? In a mine. It's dead. Where's the drawing? I never got it. I remember. Tell us. Where's the charge? There's eight of them next, next to the water. But the plunger is on the far side, in the back of a truck. Let's go. No, wait, wait. Take it easy, we'll come back for you. Yeah. Thank you. Soldier. You'll be all right, Doc. You're gonna be all right, Hayes. And goodbye. Hey, where's Crump? See it from Mount Hill. Seeing it's one thing, saving it's another. Uh, one thing at a time, Wallace. Come on. We can rush them. And the first thing they do is connect the wires and... All this time and we can just watch. You take the man nearest the box. We can make it hard to get near the side. 
Well, wait till most of them have left. What's going on? Looks like the farmer's giving them a hard time. Here's the hold your sword. Raus! Don't cop. It's about gone. You ready? Hey. It's crook. July 25th. We've been assured by Major Wallace there will be a rest for us when we reach Berlin. The fighting has been hard. The strain almost unbearable. I will receive the Medal of Honor from General Eisenhower. But the heroism of D Company will be preserved by the men who have seen us fight and die. is tired. I have to keep a record. What's in the book? He has some notes. Better keep that too. Send it to his folks. How's Crunk?
Dream Dog!